Hello, today I'm here with a new Will I Buy It video and last week I didn't make any Will I Buy It and that is because of two reasons. <laughs> the main reason is because I didn't have time at all. I was busy the whole weekend and I didn't have time to film it. And the other reason is right now I feel so fed up with this makeup thing and not makeup but all the new releases that you have to buy 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 and stuff like that sometimes it just feels fed up um, and when I look at my own makeup I just feel like why do you have this much makeup I love makeup I love playing with makeup and I love that you can be creative with makeup, but sometimes I just feel like I want to never ever buy any more makeup. I don't want to see my makeup. I don't want to see new releases and stuff like that. And I want to subscribe to unsubscribe from all emails I get when there's new makeup and stuff from different stores. And that was my feeling last week, and I still feel a little like that. I think I always feel this when um, the autumn is coming and the winter and the darkness is coming. I just feel fed up with like everything and especially makeup. So that's the two reasons it didn't come up a video last week. I will I buy it? And I don't know if I want to continue doing these videos. Maybe I'm just going to do them and talk about makeup, but not makeup I want to buy, just like new makeup and um, say what I think, but that I don't want to buy. And does this even make sense? I don't know. So uh, I am going to talk about some stuff and there is some of these are things that I want to buy and have been they are now available some of them so yeah we just hop into the video but so we can start about two things that i'm really looking forward to the first one is the divinit palette from strobe cosmetics this is now available i think it was released last week and i really 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 want this palette because my creepy cute palette is one of my favorite palettes and these colors look amazing so this is available now and it's going to be uh, it's not a limited edition it's I don't know what it's called then it's a piece in their permanent collection it's a permanent palette so this I'm going to pick up I don't know when but I'm going to and I think it was in my last Will I Buy It I talked about this palette and <laughs> I ran a little about they was releasing one color day and it's Menagerie Cosmetics, I don't know if they're called that, is their Feral eyeshadow palette and the first shadows they released it's 12 colors uh, they really looked really good and I think I said I wanted this palette but now I'm I'm not sure it is a nice palette but I don't know it's it's the shipping and the taxes and everything so I don't know if I are going to get it but I think it's a nice palette I think I have to it's so much extra money for the shipping to Sweden and the taxes that comes and everything I buy from the US so because of that I don't know if I going to buy this but I think it's a really really nice palette and it's vegan and cruelty free and they also give back 10% will be donated to animal welfare institute and that I really love that for Ben to do that so that maybe can convince me to buy this but I don't know if I want it I have to think about it a little bit more you see this little guy this is, this 
is my side cut growing out and it's my neck hair. I don't know, it, it, it like always doing like this. I have saved some things here in my phone that I didn't talk about last week, so I can talk about them. Um, so the first is Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. I have one of their palettes and their shadows is really really good. They are releasing single eye shadows, 32 new shades. And I haven't seen, I haven't been looking up makeup that much this cup, this last week. I don't have seen so much colors, mostly because I haven't looked for them. But they have put up two colors on their Instagram. One of them I have in my Flaming Love palette, I think. But the other one, Outshine. It's a really cool blue shade. I I don't usually go for blues, but this one seems pretty nice. So maybe sometime in the future I will pick up some of these single shadows because I have a palette and that palette is really really good. And Makeup Addiction they are also releasing a new eyeshadow palette that is called Sinful. <sighs> And uh, this is launching in the end of October and this palette looks amazing. The swatches look amazing. This one I can totally buy. Totally buy. Oh, totally buy. I sound like a British person. I can't even speak today. Okay, <laughs> so it's the Sinful Eyes. And there have some new eyeshadows in this that is called Three wet metallic glitters that you're supposed to wet your brush and get the full potential of the colors. I don't know what I think about that because I'm the person that never wet my brushes because I don't like it. But I think you can use this without wetting, wetting your brushes but I think it's... It's a little strange thing to marketing them, like you have to wet your brush for them to work properly. But the palette looks really really nice and it's a really really good brand. So we can talk a little bit about Fenty Beauty. They are re have released their... Um, I don't know if it's released but I think so. Um, some more stunning lip paints and I've talked about one color in... And will I buy it before this one? And now it's five new shades. And I really want to try one of these because everybody say they are really really good. But I need to swatch them and I don't have a Sephora store <laughs> nearby. So I have to go to a Sephora to swatch them. <sighs> so maybe if I feel like to splurge when I'm at Sephora next time. But I don't know. But... It's nice colors, it's store colors and one black I think and yeah, they look good. And Fenty are also releasing an highlighter palette. And this I I I I don't really know, it's a blue highlighter in this one. I would like to try one of Fenty's highlighters because there are so many talking about them that they are so good. But I think they are a little bit expensive. And I am not dragged to one of them. And especially not this holiday eye highlight palette. Or maybe it's not a holiday. I don't know if it's a holiday palette or a permanent palette. But this is nothing for me. So no. But they are also releasing. I think it's. 10 new full size lipsticks, plush matte lipsticks. I don't think it's for me either. I don't I don't feel like I really want to try Fenty Beauty because I don't like Rihanna that I don't hate her but I don't like her. I'm not listening to her music, I don't follow her anywhere so Rihanna is not somebody I want, I feel like I want to support, I need to support. 
this is a messy video. Another Halloween collection, and this is a brand I have never talked about on my channel before, I think. And it's Kylie Cosmetics. I... Hate is a strong word, but I really don't like the Kardashians or the Jenner family. I don't know what's up with that family. I don't... I don't have anything positive to say about the Kylie or Kardashians or Jenners. And uh, she is releasing a holiday, Halloween collection. And I remember when Kylie started a makeup brand. She only has had these lip kits. And they were super popular. They always sold out. And then it was just that. And now she's releasing too much. She's always releasing everything. It's eyeshadow palette after eyeshadow palette, lips after lips, highlighters after highlighters. And I think, can you love a brand that much that you want to buy everything all the time? I don't know. In this pace that she's releasing and it's expensive things. So she's releasing a whole Halloween collection with an eyeshadow palette and I think it's for lipsticks I don't know a lip kit it's nothing for me I'm I can promise you I will never buy anything from Kylie Cosmetics never and then Morphe are releasing a new little palette a nine pen palette and it's called 9N um, Brown, Nude, Orange and Gold, Green and I don't know what I think I would like to try Morphe but I don't know what if I are going to try I want to try like this small palette but this this frankly looks a little bit boring so I'm not going to buy this and also Pixie by Petra is releasing a holiday thingy and I like to try her skincare or the skincare from Pixie but the makeup looks so freaking boring it feels like everything is the same it's the same eyeshadow palette over and over again it's the same blushes over and over again so I don't want any of this but I really like their skincare but not their makeup and somebody else that are releasing something new is Colourpop yes once again and I think they are releasing two things right now it's or three things it's their Disney collection I talked about this in my last will I buy it and they're also releasing ooh la la an eyeshadow palette that is pink. I'm not going to pick this up because it's too much pink for me. Pink is not my favorite eyeshadow color. And they're also releasing the a collection with two lippies, two lippies, three liquid lipsticks and uh, four super shock shadows. But they're releasing this with make a wish america we have some thing like i think it is like make a wish i think it would be min stora dag i think that would be the same that fulfill sick kids wishes and that i am really loving that color pop is doing this and uh, Everything is going to make a wish America and I think that's great but I'm not going to pick any of this up but I really like that Colourpop is doing this. I think more brands should do things like this. Okay and the last thing for this messy video is an indie brand that I have never heard of before. I think it's Unique Beauty that's from UK and I think they are vegan they are vegan and cruelty free and they are releasing 7 deadly sins but 
it's an eyeshadow palette and it's 12 shades and for me to call something the seven deadly sins and have 12 shades is a little bit odd so it's five shimmery shadows and seven matte and I love the packaging of this I think it's look really cool I wish is that more makeup brands could do some fun packaging like this the palette seems very big for 12 shades they are or arranged in a little awkward way so the palette seems super big even though it, you you could make it smaller the colors I like some of them not all of the colors but I think this is a nice palette the packaging is nice the colors are nice some more than others that gold shade what was it called greed of course it's greed it looks really nice and the other shimmers look nice and the matte looks nice too and I don't know I don't know how much I would use this but I think it's a fun it's a fun packaging and it's nice colors and it's cruelty free and vegan so that's good yeah and that was all for this video I really hope you liked it I don't know if this is even going to come up because I don't know what I'm talking about I am so fed up with everything right now and my eyes a little bit itchy so I hope you like this video if it comes up and do you want me to continue doing this will I buy it videos and how often do you want to see them because I don't know if I can have a video up every week that I have to record on the weekends because I think it's more fun to record them on weekends because then you may miss shit loads of makeup that are revealed on Saturday or Sunday so if you want me to continue doing this please comment and how often you want to see them or give this video a thumbs up if you want me to continue in doing this so we will see maybe I'm just in a rough patch right now patch path, path right now so we will see so I really hope you enjoyed this video even though it's all over the place and I am so I don't know the word for it no um so yeah I see you in the next one and hopefully that video will be better <laughs>